Y254. Imagine. Welcome back to the broadcast. My name is Yvonne Anula. Tonight we are talking about opportunities in ICT, the state of ICT, and importances of ICT to the society. Remember, you can be part of our conversation tonight by simply tweeting us at Yvonne Anula254 channel. The hashtag to use is Y254 updates. And my guest tonight is Simon Okoth, who is the managing director of Upking Solutions Limited. So as we continue with our conversation, uh, many young people have come up with these new ideas, but the problem is they complain there is no enough or sufficient funding in this particular sector. So are there readily available platforms for these young people? Uh, yes, there are readily available platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, the funding problem is, uh, I think, is a, now, is a worldwide problem that is so magnified in Africa. Mm -hmm. yes, so in Africa, uh, uh, sadly, we have to survive with the funding problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, because uh, sometimes you, because you are talking from outside, I've never been in government, so I don't know how it is inside. Mm -hmm. But from outside, the, there are a lot of gaps in terms of uh, the priorities. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, the funding problem uh, is not very deep because uh, you can start from as low as uh, as possible. How low? Uh, uh, if you are innovative enough, you, you see uh, today today you have a very big audience even on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You have a very big audience on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You can uh, easily start posting what you do. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if you have a, you c you can just have a small you can do a small app from free Android Studio mm -hmm. that you can download and do your a small app. You can even do a small app in in chicken uh, rearing mm -hmm. and you will find quite a lot of traffic in it mm -hmm. people are these are these are some of the things that very many people are interested in mm -hmm. but again you can just google and have your own research and compile it oh. and, and and have it there mm -hmm. you see when you have it on the play store mm -hmm. uh, a lot <coughs> of things will, g will start going on and very many people if the traffic on it is high mm -hmm. people will now come to you trying to advert to do their adverts on it Mm -hmm. So uh, there are, in, in terms of ICT, there's quite a number of things you can do mm -hmm. without capital. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, we blame everything on funding, but at the moment the situation does not look like it is changing mm -hmm. fast mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. So we need to be creative ourselves and create our own internal ways. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now let, let us move away from that and talk about security issues. Yes. How am I as an innovator mm -hmm. Uh, guaranteed mm -hmm. that whatever I've come up with is actually protected from especially cyber crimes? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, 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 the leg legislative bit uh, in this country is not very adequate mm -hmm. to handle that. Uh, there are rumors of uh, several people having uh, lost quite innovative ideas to, to praying individuals. Who, who, who are trying to capitalize on someone's brilliance, especially if they are, uh, the brilliance is with someone who is still not very vast with what mm -hmm. the law says. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but uh, uh, your effort will still be rewarded because even if someone tries to run away with your idea, in ICT there is how they will still have to need you mm -hmm. because it is you who, okay, who, okay. who can still continue improving it. Mm -hmm. Yes, but again, security again comes back to, to individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, it is uh, the cyber crime issue, there's, there are several situations like fishing, mm -hmm. fishing as an example of cyber crime. Mm -hmm. You see uh, quite a number of people, you, go, you can even go into Facebook and you find uh, very funny links that you have won this. Mm -hmm. Before you log, get there, you sit there and they say you put your password. <laughs> but this guy, this person is speaking your username and password. Mm -hmm. Then tomorrow you start crying that someone is posting on my, on my page. Mm -hmm. Somebody has hacked my page. But you see, it is this, this site that we visit. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of the, in the security bit is also internal. But the ones that are global, like, uh, like hacking and the rest, mm -hmm. Uh, are, are, are managed uh, at, at, a, at a bit higher level. Mm -hmm. But when, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an individual, as a young person, when you get an opportunity to do something, mm -hmm. uh, however much someone may try to run with it, mm -hmm. they will still need you in the process. All right, having worked yeah. with this particular sector for quite some time, so yes. are there any investment gaps 
existing in ICT? Uh, ICT, the whole of it, I still believe is a gap. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, there is a conventional thinking that ICT is difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, very many people are trying to hang on the easier bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, uh, nothing comes easy. Mm -hmm. It might be difficult to start, but when you get in, in it, you realize that it's one of the, 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 the simplest uh, sectors. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are gaps. Mm -hmm. every, every big part of ICT is gaps. Mm -hmm. Because every single organization running in this country, mm -hmm. in the world, needs a system. Mm -hmm. Every single person, almost every single uh, person has some, some phone. They, will, they need to access Facebook. Mm -hmm. Then, then, then what? There, is a, there is already something there oh, we need exactly. to do to capture that kind of mm -hmm. uh, audience. And that's a gap. Mm -hmm. Every, uh, like, let's say, every wedding will need a, wed a card. Exactly. You can design it. So, Simon, maybe as we continue yes. <laughs> move away from the wedding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Is there any support that the government or the private sector, mm -hmm. sector should contribute towards developing the ICT sector? Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, for the government, uh, the, private, the private sector is somehow uh, uh, neglected in a way. The government is, uh, is seeing it as a source of funds. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and uh, most, uh, most, activi most, most of the legislation sometimes uh, even infringe it. Mm -hmm. Because you find uh, uh, a, a small organization stri stri struggling to rise, mm -hmm. But there is already a very high impost tax. Mm -hmm. Yet, uh, if we can, if we, the government can say today that uh, don't pay tax, mm -hmm. have this number of people to support. You see, or the tax even comes to some something around ten percent. It makes it would make sense. Mm -hmm. But for me, uh, in terms of the relationship between the government and the private sector, mm -hmm. it is not directed towards letting it grow. Mm -hmm. But the government see it as a source of money. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, maybe as we wind up, what yeah. is the future of ICT? Where are we expecting to see this particular platform in the next like two, three years? Uh, the, 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 the sector is so good, mm -hmm. so fast growing. Uh, what we need is at least to, to focus more on relevant training mm -hmm. so that at least when we produce people into the sector, mm -hmm. uh, they don't take two years trying to understand what mm -hmm. they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Yet they have taken uh, four years in, in, uh, in their colleges <laughs> training a specific thing. All right. So we need to narrow down into that. But the government is trying mm -hmm. uh, with the introduction of laptops and, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and that mm -hmm. and uh, trying to regulate that. But from where I sit, mm -hmm. uh, that gesture is good but targeting the wrong audience. Mm -hmm. Yes, if we can have uh, uh, good labs in primary schools, mm -hmm. good labs especially, I would focus on secondary schools. Mm -hmm. Because again, you find a good secondary school uh, trying to conf uh, with, with, tw with the 10 computers. Mm -hmm. But this secondary school is admitting uh, 400 students. Mm -hmm. So uh, someone from the village would, ne would leave it to people who have come from Nairobi because they are the ones who see computers there. Exactly. Thank yeah. you, Simon, for coming through. Thank so you. for you, it's actually training is key in all this? Very key. Mm -hmm. It is the training that we are lacking. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, uh, the training we are lacking, but it should start from some level. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, if, I, if, if, I would, if I would be the one running the policies, mm -hmm. uh, computer studies should be mandatory <laughs> in high school. <laughs> With that, you will come, you will bring people who are objective, Exactly. Into the colleges. <laughs> Thank you so much, yes. Simon Okot. That has been Simon Okot, Managing Director, Upkin Solutions Limited. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on the Bulletin and keeping me company. Until next time, enjoy the rest of your viewing.